This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? Final match up here, the basketball hoop festival. And Baltimore and Wilson, DC, the Tigers. And the record of eight and four. Going up against the St. Francis Panthers. And a turnover early by Wilson. Here comes the ace. Back over. Oh, spin down for toes. Offensive rebound. Blocked from behind by Mitchell. The ace gets it back now. Back over. Rashir Jones puts it up. No good. Tried to save it and to no avail. Tigers get it back. Wilson, a record of 8 and 4. DCSAA Double A Conference. And the ball's tipped by the ace. The ball back over to Wilson. Wilson up against St. Francis. Wilson has beaten Pally twice in December. Two point tough defeat to one of the top ranked teams in the country, DeMatha, down there at the DeMatha Christmas Tournament. Carlos Dunn inbounding it over to Stevens. Done. Inside, layup is good. Michael Mitchell. Mitchell with the two. St. Francis suffered their last home game was a defeat. Jason Murphy with it. Ace pulls up. Hits it from long distance. A nice three ball there for the ace. 3-2 game. St. Francis though, Christmas time, they had a good time in the National Division of the Chick-fil-A Classic down in South Carolina. They got to the final. Second year in a row they've done so. Baldwin with the foul. 6.34 here left in the first so far. Mars out here with you, my man. Santa Johnson AJ at the rollout. Take care of some stuff. Looks like I said, we was not able to live stream the last two and a half games. Do the stuff that was not in our control. That's a three and a hit. Jay Heath Jr. And it's a 5-3 game. Let me tell you something. Wilson is very battle tested. They play a lot of top teams in the nation. IMG Academy, one of them. A lot of these games they haven't lost by much. West, the size. Right now, Wilson really giving a problem to St. Francis. Tolls pulls up, hits the three. So with Wilson sitting in the zone, they've made St. Francis more of a jump shooting team so far. The Panthers been able to take advantage and the ace gets a steal there. Brings it back up. That's a three from Rashid Jones. That one tipped and missed. Michael Mitchell with the rebound. He brings it up. And against West. The West tough challenges of the season. Heath. And both teams battle test. St. Francis winning the Gonzaga Classic. That one goes in. Mitchell gives the Tigers a one point lead. Got to the finals of the Chick-fil-A Classic for a second straight year. Drive inside the ace, no good. Murphy was trying to grab the rebound and that didn't go. So the ball back to Wilson. Heath Jr. brings it up against Rashid Jones. Back over the other way. Mitchell inside. That's the on the outside. Now he drives in. Oh boy. Try to get it to his brother. That didn't go. And I kill Mitchell at the line shooting two. Foul on number 13, Jason Murphy. 
So Murphy with the foul call. Two shot foul here. First shot, no good. Second shot to try to put the lead up to uh, two. Eight, six. Second shot, got it. So, one of two. Drive inside, blocked away. Heath behind his back, back over, inside. That's a three, hits it. 11-6 game. And like we said before, to open up the broadcast here, Wilson, folks, ain't no joke. You think they are. You got another thing coming. Inside. And West is fouled. Two shots coming up for him. Tuesday gang, St. Francis can win in transition. Jamal West. As West is at the line. First shot, no good. Second shot in there. So one of two from West. And it is a four point advantage here for the Tigers. Drive, shot back over. And side of it first, so go holes. How about that? Jay Heath again. What a long distance, too. Rashir Jones. Back over to Murphy. The ace. West, top of the key. Hits it. 13-10 game, but again, this is Wilson's type of pace. That's what they want. They want you to shoot jumper. So as Heath kicks it back over. No, not that's all this. Oh, baby, baby, the maker Stevens from way downtown. He almost shot that from the nation's capital, and almost a turnover. St. Francis gets it back. How about this one? Up the beltway. Tolls. And that one slips out the hands of Jones. Keith Jr. with it. Out of bounds. St. Francis gets, gets it back on the turnover. First turnover, by the way, by Wilson. The ace brings it up for St. Francis in their white jersey tonight. That's a three. Front end miss. Offensive rebound by the ace. And that's a foul. He's got hit pretty hard there, but he's going to be all right. And... Two shots coming out. Hutchison looked like he's about to come in the game. The ace at the line shooting a pair. First shot. Got it. Check out BKD Dash TV, West Cyber Sports List. NFL news and uh, notes there. Going to give you other sports as well. A little NBA, a little college basketball too. So. BKD Dash TV website where sports live. Second shot goes in for the ace. 16 12 now. Heath Jr. really made dividends. And we'll keep Mitchell with it. Back over to Heath Jr. 
running at the top of the key against Rashia Jones. Inside, that one didn't go. Second chance does. Kel Mitchell strikes once more. 18-12 game. Swings it back. West pulls up. Missed it. Jordan Tolles trying to one-hand dunk it. He didn't get it. Jason Murphy does. And he gets it in. So 146 here left in the quarter. 18-14 affair. Stevens pulls up. Missed it. West to ace. Tolles. Murphy got to do something with it fast and the reach-in foul. 13 foul against Wilson. Rocho Wilson, that is. Tigers known nationwide. The thing about our friends down in D.C., they do play public versus private championship game as well. And Wilson, DeMatha, usually match up in it most of the time. Rashid Jones, Jones with the two. Jones. And now it's a two-point game. Two-point advantage. Inside. And a foul is called. Bogan with the foul. Jay Heath Jr. at the line shooting a pair. First shot. In there. Second shot here coming up. Front end miss. One of two. Bogan got the rebound and the ace bringing it up. Rashia Jones pulls up. That one's short. Tell Mitchell with the rebound. That's a three. That one zipped and missed. Rashia Jones leaps up for the board there. Brings it over to the ace. We're down to seconds here in the quarter. Three point lead for Wilson. Crossover. The ace trying to work it. Blocked away by Mc McHill Mitchell. Shot clock at 18. Game clock at 31.3. So the inbounds. Montague. Right now, St. Francis is trying to match size with size. Got to shoot it. Jones puts it up. Hits a three. Cold-blooded. The senior drops the three in. 19. 19 all. Swinging it. Swinging it one more time. Three ball. Tipped and missed. And that's the end of the first. After one. Dead even at 19. Here on the Die Swing Network and stick and stay right here for your home. The sports action in the Baltimore Metro area. And what a game we got here. All our games today, by the way, in our third basketball special playlist. You can check that out now. Here on the Die Swing Network, every game. We'll be up in there. Right after this one is completed. St. Francis credited in. They have been able to shoot outside pretty well. Wilson sits in a zone. And the size they have, they make it very difficult for you inside to do much of anything. So as the second quarter 
about to get going. See how both teams adjust to each other and the speed factor in this game. So second quarter about to get going. Jordan Tolles is looking to inbound the ball here. Tolles with it. Back over to Carlos Alexander. Played a lot of minutes as a freshman. Alexander now, speaking of him. Tried to drive it, couldn't elevate. Back the other way. Hutchinson. That one didn't go. And an offensive foul against Wilson. Mitchell. Mitchell. St. Francis. A foul against the Tigers. Foul call on number 20, Miguel Mitchell. Jordan Tolles inbounds to star athlete. So I made his decision yet where he's going to go. He's still got another year to do so. The ace with it now. Off the screen from West. And that's a three from Alexander. And it gives St. Francis the lead since early in the game. 22-19. They said St. Francis shooting from deep. Back over. Oh, that's a walk. Ball's going to stay with Wilson, though. Ace is coming out. Back over. Bat it. That's a three. Hits it. Heath cold blooded again. That's us as an ass, excuse me. And that's a tie at 22. Pass it back over. Alexander, back over. That's a three. That one tipped and missed there by Toes. Ball back, pick city by Carlos Alexander. He pulls it back now. Shot clock at 26. Floater in the air. That one bounces on the backboard. Rebound over to Dunn. That's a three. That one tipped and miss and a tap in is good. I don't know which Mitchell that was. It was Makai Mitchell. And Wilson has the lead back by two. Rashid Jones from downtown. Hits again. Three point shot. And a one point lead back for St. Francis again. Back over. They swing it. That's a three from Don. He hits it. Cold blooded. 27-25. Pull up from Jones. Spend out, offensive rebound! Oh boy. Jordan Toes is looking to go air again. But Wilson will get the ball back. Well, we've seen a duck of the year contest last year from Ace to Jordan. 
against Patterson a year ago. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can create some more magic like that tonight. Done though. Back over. Inside. Man. Them long arms though, the Mitchell brothers, I tell you. Here comes Jordan Toes now. And that's a turnover. Makai Mitchell gets fouled. Fourteen foul against the Panthers. And as the Tigers keep it, four thirty here left in the quarter. The dribble inside. Oh, block from behind, and they call it a foul. Adam Walden. Cal Mitchell shooting a pair here at the line. First shot in there. Second shot here. That one is in and out. Back over to the ace. Back in the game. 4 10 here left in the first half. Ace pulls up. And hits it. Squared up at 28 apiece. Heath Jr. has it. He's going to drive. Pull up. Tipped and miss. Rebound over to West. Back to the ace. Rashid right Jones again. Tipped and missed this time. Offensive rebound right over to the ace there. Baldwin pulls up for three. Front end miss. Back the other way. Swings it over to Dunn. Heath Jr. Drive on the baseline. Another drive. Pick City. Rachel Jones back over. Blocked. Toes is driving to the hoop. So 3.08 left, both teams at five fouls apiece. Here are two more. And both teams be shooting a one and one. So Tolls will inbound here. Tolls back to the ace. Right here, Jones pulls up and hits. The lead back to St. Francis by a two. A one possession game, 30-28. Frank Francis has only had a brief three-point lead. Oh, Mitchell. Makai Mitchell, that is. Ties it at 30. Jumper. Jamal. Jamal West gets the bounce. Two point advantage from the Dunbar transfer. And there, Akai Mitchell batted, turned over. Nice hands there on defense by St. Francis. In there, inside, got it in. Jordan Toes. Thirty-four, thirty. One fifty-seven here left in a half. 
drive inside. That one didn't go. Offensive rebound. Oh, that one goes in. Macau Mitchell that time. Timeout by Wilson. Two point advantage here. 34 32. You're here, caught up at you. There on the Dice Winning Network. Upcoming games include uh, Glendon Country. They're going up against Annapolis Area Christian and Dunbar in Patterson. Doing our coverage next week on the Dice Winning Network. In the following week, big games for you. City, Archbishop Curley, Boys Latin, St. Francis. And finally, Holly and Patterson, and then Windy City Challenge here at St. Francis. Ball of Basketball Academy up and over. And Morgan could be streaming, live streaming that. Not fully sure yet. A lot of action coming away here in January. That's just the next couple of weeks. We haven't even got to the end of the month. Matchups including St. Francis and St. Vincent Pilate. Mark Kelvin, Patterson. We've been doing a little girls' action with Pilate and I and D. With the, see the Penguins for the first time, and I and I am M A play as well. So it's all coming at you here in the last one, man. you stick and stay? I see Jones though hits the three. Well, St. Francis gets it going now. They're up five. Biggest lead for them. Both teams' biggest lead has been five. It hasn't been much. Let's see what Wilson does. Done. It's on the floor. St. Francis gets it back. Panthers traveled down to South Carolina. Then last night they was, as we're taping this on a Saturday anyway, they was down at Missouri Christian on Friday. So, Rashid Jones hot from distance. That one didn't go that time. Saved it. And Wilson gets it back. Keith Jr. with it. He's doubled. Back over, somebody's going to be free. Goes back. Blocked from behind by Jordan Toes. So 45.1 left, 13 seconds on the shot clock. As they say, oh my. Back over to Heath Jr. Inside the gap. No good. St. Francis gets it back. They pulls it up. Uh oh, here come in. Ed Toes is looking to take off, but instead he's going to be at the line shooting two. So done with the foul. The two shot foul here coming up. 16 foul, by the way, against uh, Wilson. First shot. Got it. Second shot here. That one missed. So one of two, St. Francis still up six. Dunn brings it up for Wilson. Back inside, now Mitchell, he's shooting two. Two shot foul, shot clock is off. At 22.5, here left. Two shot foul. First shot in there. Second 
second shot here. That one hits. So two shots there. We are at a four point game here. And the ace brings it up here. Try to get a little bit more points for the half. The ace here. Brings it back over. Missed it. Oh, and he got it in. Throws it up. And that's the half. The half where St. Francis got it going. And they're up by six. 40 to 34. Are we back with the second half? Here on the Dice Ray Network. Here coming up. Second half about to get going here. And St. Francis got on a run. They scored 21 points in the second quarter and got themselves in a six point lead. But with Wilson, trust me folks, they are not out of this one by a long shot. Yes indeed, as the Tigers get the ball first in the second half, then they're rolled black jerseys. Keith Jr. against Jordan Toes. Mitchell has an distinct advantage, he did. Gave it up to Dunn. Dunn drove right past Baldwin and a foul is called. That's Baldwin's second. Dunn shooting a pair here. First shot goes in. Second shot is in there. Forty thirty six, a four point game. Here for St. Francis. Baldwin. Dace looking by Sheer Jones now. Jones back over. Murphy. The ace hits the three. The ace puts it in, 43-36. Up there, Heath Jr. Mitchell. Everybody say, if he hits that, look out. The ace, fast break, inside. Back over the toes. That one didn't go. Heath Jr. kicks it over. Kill Mitchell inside, he's going to shoot. As they say, he's looking to finish. Jordan Toe said, no, you're not. First shot's in there. Second shot in there. Both shots go, 43-38. Right here, Jones trying to cut the defense. He keeps it. The ace. Thought he was going to pull up. He didn't. Right here, Jones looked like he was going to pull up. He holds back. Now he does. That one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound to Murphy. Inside, that one didn't go. How about Jordan Toes pulling it out? Second chance in there. 45-38 game. Mitchell to Mitchell. That one didn't go. The long arms almost had the rebound. Did not. Here comes Toes. Blocked. West is trying to clean it up, but a foul is called. And it's going to be two shots. Foul number 
number 21, Mikhail Mitchell. Jordan Tolles, shooting two. Second shot, got it. So as they say, this is an eight point lead. Tried to tip it, was, was Jordan Toes, but the ball not agreeing with him and Wilson will keep it here on their end. He's Jr. with it. Inside to Mitchell. That's a three. That one tipped and miss. Rashid Jones with the rebound. They go over to the ace. The ace pulls up. Tipped and miss. Rebound over to Dunn. It's a huge possession here, you say, for Wilson. They haven't been able to get much in offense like they want to. He turned it over. Ace, uh-oh, baby! Yes, sir! Air toes ready for takeoff. Back over to Dunn. Inside to Mitchell. Batted away by the ace, and it's gonna stay with Wilson. 4.54 left here in in the third quarter. Mitchell was looking for a duck instead. Here comes West. All the way to the basket. Time out. By Wilson. 12 point lead. Biggest lead of the game for either squad. Here in this finale. The Ball Ball Hoops Festival here at St. Francis. Ball to the cars. You stay with us here on DSN. Back over. Huge shot here for Wilson. Front end miss. And Toes with the rebound. Kicks it inside. How about Jason Murphy with the and one? It's become a it become a duck fest. Yeah, the Hoops Festival. Shooting one here. Fifty-two thirty-eight. Panthers showing they are one of the top teams in the land, and they hit that one. Back over to the ace. Uh oh. Inside. Jason Murphy throws it down again. As we said before, a dump fest at the Baltimore Hoops Festival here in this third quarter for St. Francis. That's a three. Hits a big time shot. 
Ricardo Just saying, not trying to let the caboose get away from Wilson. And they're down 14. Murphy again. Spin move. Blocked this time by Mitchell, but it was tapped out as well. And St. Francis will keep it on their end. 17 seconds on shot clock. 3.44 left on the third quarter game clock. Getting positioning. Right here to the ace. Oh, nice pass to West. The ace. Woo! Woo! Missed it. That was real close to being good looking. Heath Jr. for three. That one tipped and missed. West with the rebound. Rashia Jones got it now. Back over to Jordan Toes. I guess Heath Jr. Screen, pull up. Spins out. Ball back over to Wilson. Back over the other way, inside. Three ball. That one tipped and missed. West with the rebound. And there, tips back over. Blocked from behind. Murphy again. Both. Time out there. Jason Murphy one of the challenges of taking on both Mitchell brothers. And I think AD coach Nicholas Miles, he said, nah, not quite yet. 2.33 left in this third. 55-41 game here for St. Francis. and trying to get their selves together on their end. 55-41 game for St. Francis. Said last time they was home, they suffered at defeat against Mount St. Joe's. And right now, Mount St. Joe's leading and everything. The BCL, MIA, the conference standings as well. They're undefeated in it. And both areas. West pulls back. That's a three. Hits it. Rashia Jones. 17 point lead here for St. Francis. Wilson. Over Mitchell finishes it off. How about Makai Mitchell? Throws the two down. Rashia Jones back over. Oh, little shake and bake action. Toes. Swings it. The ace in the corner. That one tipped and missed that three. Jason Murphy fights for the rebound. Back over. West. Bounce pass to Toes. 1.33 here left in the third. The ace with it now. So what are you going to do with it? Ace pulls up. Oh, front end miss. That should be a foul against Wilson. That was a hold. Foul call number 21, Mikel Mitchell. That's a three. That one tipped and missed there for Jones. Back the other way inside. Hutchinson couldn't finish it. And that should go to St. Francis as well. Oh, 67 seconds here left in the third.
Busby in the game now as he gives it up to the ace. They go over to Carlos Alexander. Back over to Jason Murphy, back over to the ace now. Ace pulls up off the glass and in. That was a nice one. Twenty-eight seconds, sixty forty-three. How about that hustle from Murphy? And the ace gets it back from from Dunn's hands. <laughs> Baldwin. See, they get out of the third with another exclamation point. Inside, he's shooting two. Jason Murphy trying to get his knee right. On the other end, he's going to come out. They're going to look at him. Make sure he is all right. Shooting two. First shot in there for the ace. Second shot here. Spinned out. One of two. At the buzzer. And that's the end of the three. St. Francis, 18 point lead. They is showing one of the best teams in Baltimore. Excuse me, one of the best teams down in D.C. What it is right now. Only nine points there by Wilson. Our next broadcast coming your way. We'll be taping it on Monday. We'll be tomorrow. We'll come out to you on Tuesday and all that good. Glendon Country. Going down to that Missouri Christian. Huge matchup. Here on the Dive Sporting Network, coming your way from Annapolis. We will be there live in a living color for that one. And then the next day, taping Tuesday, Dunbar and Patterson back here in Baltimore City. So we're getting diverse with you on the Dive Sporting Network. Coming your way from Annapolis on Monday, and then Patterson on Tuesday. Right now, St. Francis trying to add on to that highlight reel and get their 16th win of the season here in this one. Well, like I said again, Wilson is not the type of team that's going to go away, at least quietly. Back over. Last year, Jones. That's a jumper. Got it. Take on Busby. 21 point lead as he uh, shoots the long distance. Looking to drive, he stepped out. Back to St. Francis. 7.20 left in this one. Back over. And a travel. That's a three. That one will not go. We have an offensive foul. No basket. I think he stepped out as well. 6.54 left in this one.
jumper. Got it! Busby with another long distance three. 24 point lead right now for St. Francis. 30 second timeout by Wilson and I don't think this is what Wilson had in mind when it came up the trip from DC. See a score like this. Ball games coming up the following week and then uh, we'll be coming at you the following Monday. Twin Bill City Curly. Boys Latin St. Francis. And then Pile and Patterson, a big one. Tuesday here on the Dice Willie Network, and we'll be there for that one. Throws it back in, work. Case it back over. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Rebound there over the basket. That's it. It's Alexander, excuse me. Bogan inside. Couldn't finish it. Whoa, look out. So Mitchell with a little physicality there. Not what you want to see. St. Francis gets it back, fifth foul, two more. St. Francis be shooting the one and one. But at this point, it will not matter. It's gonna go back to Wilson as that ball. Coming on over. Done. Back on the McCown, Mitchell. Foul. I think they call Montague get called for that one. Foul called on number 22, Emmanuel Bogan. Bogan will actually be called for that foul. Inside, another foul. Two quick ones, that puts the Panthers up to four team fouls. Bargain got two quick ones. St. Francis takes time, 545 left in this one. 67-43 contest. Check out the games from Baltimore Hoops Festival today. Plus our other videos in our archives here on the Ice Morning Network. Matchups this season include Tell Our Friends, one of the winners of the bracket. I forget which number, but bracket down in the Governor's Challenge down in Wamacomico. Back on the Eastern Shore, back during Christmas time. Check out St. Francis' quarterfinal game against Riverdale Baptist in the Consolidated Classic with they later won. And check out Charm City Challenge as well. That's a three. That one front end miss. Alexander swings it over to Jones. Pull up. Hits it. Good old all game for the senior captain. Back to side, Mitchell. Sixteen fouls against St. Francis. One more now. Oh, what a reach. 
Got it in. Makai Mitchell with ease there. 69-45. Five minutes left in the game. Marcia Jones. No the bargain. Alexander pulls up. That one spent out on him. Grass a rebound. Jumper. That was Plussy that had it spent out on him. That was Alexander to catch it. And then back over. That's a three. He's shooting three. So Demigra Stevens at the line shooting three. H.D. Wilson and Acosta down there in D.C. That's what Wilson to be saying. And then, like I said, if they good enough in their conference, they take on the one of the WCAC. This Gonzaga, DeMatha, both of them looking good right now. Gonzaga's really gotten it going down there in D.C. We're going to try to get back down there a couple more times as well for you in February. You know, DSN. I bring you WCAC championship game at Mer American University. Two a minute out. The 69-47 game. 426 left. Inside reversal, yes sir. Carlos Alexander puts St. Francis in the 70s. 71 47. Like I said again, this is not what Wilson had in mind when they came up from down south in D.C. One of their feats of the season. And the St. Francis team has matured some, especially since their action down at the Chick fil A Classic down in South Carolina. They go over the other way, Rashid right Jones for three. No good. Here comes Wilson. That's a three. I want tipped and miss. Well, Mitchell. Montague. I go to Alexander. 332 left in this one. Dribble it, try to run some clock down. Just smart. Drive to the hoop, reversal. Yes, sir. The freshman putting it in now. Putting. Wilson takes time. 257 left. It's not if but when. This one's over. St. Francis will move on 16 and 3. Wilson. It's going to drop to 8 and 5 on the youngsters. Couldn't finish the dunk. Actually, that was Busby, excuse me. Couldn't have finished that one. As quick as they got the ball, I looked down. St. Francis was driving up court. 30 point game almost. It's 28 1. But one of our Mitchell twins, Macau Mitchell, he does finish the dunk there. Wilson going to drop. It's 8 and 5. Then they've had some tough losses. But they have beaten Polly up here twice, which St. Francis will get. Come up at the end of this month. I guess. How about Towson? And that's a foul there. Ladies and gentlemen, everything at the concession stand is now one dollar. I guess they want a mass exodus there to get some food, huh? I don't know if you're going to get that one, but we'll see. 2 0 2 left for a shot goes. 
75 to 50. Second shot, missed it. One of two, nice dribble there. Reverso shooting a pair. 155 here left in this one. So Eric Morgan at the line, he's shooting two. This is what they call Galbo's time. St. Francis. Couple games coming up. That one go. We'll be back here, like I said, the following Monday. They play Boys Latin. What a huge game that's going to be. Two of the top leaders in their respective divisions in the MIA. And it also could be the MIA playoff or championship even matchup in the A Conference. Now calling number 32, Adam Walden. Walden with the foul. 154 left. Seems like we can't get off of Wilson's end of the court all of a sudden now. First shot didn't go. Second shot here. Got it. 75 50. Try to get the dribble. A lot of young guys getting some time. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Try to bat it in the air, no good. Back the other way. Lost the handle. Panthers get it back. Inside reversal, no good. Out of bounds. Panthers basketball. Kyle Stanton thought he was going to get himself a little. Reverso Rocho, but not there, but the Panthers still get it back. That's a three. That was long distance there by Chad Brown. Wilson gets, Wilson gets it back, 114 left. Wilson gonna drive back down, about way down to DC and suffer defeat. Not quite most of them they've had this year. I'm in close. This one will not be St. Francis. Really putting their will in in the second half of this one. Off the knee. St. Francis will keep it. 56.2 left. What a day here at the Hoops Festival. We had a lot of good games. <coughs> like I said, you can relive all the action on the Dice Running Network. Every minute, uh, every game here. Pull up. Tipped and miss. Offensive rebound. That one didn't go. Another chance. Got it from Walden. How about Adam Walden? The freshman. Drive inside. That one tipped and miss. But that should. Pretty much do it here. St. Francis lost their last home game, hit them out St. Joe's for the Christmas break. They went down to South Carolina, did very well in the Chick-fil-A Classic. Came back up. The first Friday in January beating the Atlas Eric Christian in the night. Who get one of their biggest home wins of the season by far. They're beating the Wilson Tigers down from DC. The final was 77 to 51. How about that one? I know a lot of people expected that. But St. Francis dominates. Bubble Hoops Festival is in the books for the third season. And we say so long to you here on the Dice Money Network. The next time you'll see us, Annapolis Area Christian will be hosting Linden Country here on the Dice Money Network up against up against them. And then the other matchup we have for you is Dunbar against Patterson. 
So for all of us here on the Dice Run Network, check out our social media on the Twitter and the Instagram at Dice Running Net. Our Facebook page officially at the Dice Running Network. For all of us here, I'm DeVos Dye. Bye, and Alexander Johnson's well throughout the day. We will see you at Annapolis Area Christian coming up on our next telecast. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?